This is the Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Check out the Southtown Hyundai Advantage at southtownhyundai.ca. Overrated audiobooks. I can't do it. Mm. I get so distracted. Because you're not focused on reading pages, you get scrolling on Twitter. You know, you're checking Facebook. You're looking through your email. Is it because your hands are free? Yeah. Mainly is your, yeah. I get that. The The best time for me that I've ever listened to an audio book is when I was grouting a uh, shower. And so my hands were busy, but it was doing monotonous, like a monotonous job that you didn't have to overthink. And then I could really get into the audio yeah, book. That's what I need. To, I need to just put the phone down or mm. yeah, do something, fold laundry, anything, because not only are my hands free, but so are my eyes. So then I started reading other things, and then next thing you know, I'm like, oh, wait, what happened? Yeah. And then I got to scroll back 15 minutes. I don't know, man. I like holding a book. But I can listen to podcasts, no problem. It's right. so weird. Uh. I guess, it, well, it's the storyline, right? Like, if I miss important information, what's the point of getting on to the next chapter if I if I yeah. missed something, right? So I always have to rewind. Where's the podcast you can just kind of listen? Exactly. Yeah. Like ours. Like ours. Search Ryder and Lisa Replay wherever you get yours. Hashtag ad. I'm going (laughs) with underrated today, and it's the sleeps you get when you're working out. You mentioned to me that you had like a terrific sleep last night. I did. I had an amazing workout around 12.30 p.m. yesterday. So even like eight hours later... My body was like, "Let's do this. Yeah, let's sleep." No, the last couple of days I've been uh, I've been going hard too in yeah. the, in the pool. No, you've been crushing it. Why don't you brag a little bit about what you accomplished on Monday? I've joined a jazzer size <laughs> water group with uh, a no what? What's the actual with a thing? team of elderly women? No, I just I've been swimming lots. I did fifty lanes in fifty minutes, which was a goal I didn't even Ooh, think I could get to. That's this so crazy. Soon into trying to get back in shape, but. I've been sleeping like a baby. It might be the chlorine too, but like put your head on the pillow, you're out. Yeah, and it's ex- the best. I really think it's exercise is the main thing that helps you sleep better. So if you're struggling to sleep at night, I don't want to tell you to get off your ass, but man, it helps when I get off mine. There you go. All right. So you agree that's underrated? The sleeps yeah. after working out? 100%. If you're jumping on Facebook today and have friends in Saskatchewan, see a hell of a storm that went through there last night now i woke up thinking whoa they got a snowstorm already as did you yeah that's exactly what i thought when i saw it and i was like there's no way a snowstorm on august 31st so we called our uh, friends at play 92 in regina Mm -hmm. they liked our station so much they copied it which is (laughs) fine because we work for the same company mark and jessica would have been right there during the storm. So we wanted to see what was going on, and we were we were caught by surprise. It was super windy. There was actually, um, like, we went driving around because my husband thinks he's a tornado hunter. <laughs> and <laughs> the clouds were, like, swirling over the east part of the city, kind of. And the size of the hail we got, too, of course, like everyone on social media posting a, a quarter or whatever and putting the piece of hail beside the quarter, they were actually quite big. So it was more hail than it was snow. Oh, that was hail. Yeah. Oh, already. okay. Because I, I watched a video this morning. I was like, are they getting a snowstorm already? Well, yeah. I mean, it is Saskatchewan, so it wouldn't be surprising if on <laughs> August 31st we got a snowstorm. But no, it was it was hail. And you know what? Today it's gone. It's a beautiful morning. Oh, well, that's super boring. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is like the equivalent of just reading the headline of a story and then realizing after like, you tell everybody about it that it was a pair parody story yeah. like it wasn't true or they ask for more details and you're like oh i don't know <laughs> i didn't click on it <laughs> yeah so just be careful a heads up if you're seeing the <laughs> snowstorm that hits saskatchewan it's via deceiving. videos and pictures very deceiving it was just a hailstorm very boring Play 107. whoa this video has over five million likes alone on tiktok i can't see how many views it is but i'm assuming it's a lot more than that This woman named Natalie went for dinner. It was her birthday. She's totally blind. The restaurant found out about this and last minute went back into the kitchen and created a cake for her with hard chocolate 
and wrote out happy birthday in Braille. Whoa. Yeah, so they went back there and they Googled what, how to draw it out and everything. And it's such a wholesome video. She was not expecting that at all. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Tell me something good. Would you also bring hand sanitizer first? Like if you're touching a cake? Sorry, um, it's actually not on cake. It's written with, with the hard chocolate on a plate. And then they brought the cake. Oh, good. I probably should have said that. Because I was that. just thinking like if you're sharing. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's a really beautiful story. All right. Uh, mine has to do with a guy that had a concept for a bakery. He wanted to help uh, inmates that were released from prison you know, re-enter the world and give a few of them the opportunity. And so he started matching uh, people that had spent time in jail with really good bakers and getting the bakers to mentor them. And now he has this business, I think it's called Freedom Bakery, and it uh, employs half of ex-inmates. Oh, wow. And it's one of the top bakeries in Glasgow, Scotland. It's hugely popular. And apparently, it's also really good for inmates because they have to get up to go to work so early. Uh, A lot of them are less likely to re-offend because you don't get in trouble at 6 in the morning. You get in trouble at, you know, midnight or 1 in the morning. Bakery shifts are quite early. Don't they start work at like 3 a.m.? Yeah. So Crazy. getting up for work at three, you'd probably uh, be pretty well behaved in the evenings. Anyway, just a really cool concept and looks to be pretty effective. Tell me something good. These are the top six common things that disrupt your hormone balance. Number one, stress, because it releases cortisol, which okay. is a stress hormone, has a negative effect on your hormone. Poor digestion. Apparently, fun fact, you excrete estrogen through your stools. So without proper digestion, this process is limited and it, it causes a buildup of estrogen. Hmm. Crazy. I didn't know that at all. You would think like you know, gut health, they talk about constantly mm-hmm. and how important that is for your overall well-being, including your happiness. That That seems to make a lot of sense. Too much caffeine. Oh, no. I know. Excessive refined sugar. Lack of sleep and sitting all day. So I posted this on my Instagram story and the amount of women that responded saying, why are you doing this to me? (laughs) Or why is this less relatable? I passed the test. I got six out of six. Yeah. (laughs) It's so true. But honestly, like out of all the things that we do on a day to day basis, like that, you know that you probably shouldn't be doing. Yeah. You're like, okay, I'm in my thirties. Why do I still have hormonal acne? As I'm on my sixth coffee and I'm eating a bag of chips. You're on your sixth coffee because you haven't gotten any sleep the last three nights. And I'm sitting all day binge watching Netflix On a toilet and it's not working right. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. You you can kind of hit for the cycle, hey, with all of those. Yeah, six out of six. Anyone else? So I wanted to call this segment where you reach out to us with any questions you may have and we can put it out there anonymously. DM slide into our DMs in the AM. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, our boss just messaged me. He's on holidays. <laughs> and he's like, no. I don't like the name. <laughs> like, okay. Quit creeping on us. Okay, so the question we've been asked today that I find pretty interesting is, I want to know if you can change a man in his 30s to be more conscientious of his grooming. I've been dating him for two months. I really like him. How do I tell him I need him to do some manscaping? Mm. specifically his eyebrows and some other areas, dot, 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 dot. I find this interesting because me personally, I would just pluck it without even asking first. I have a buddy that does that to me, and it drives me insane. He'll walk up to me like I was just standing at the beach yeah. uh, this last week. My daughter was swimming, and I was standing there about to go in, and he just walks up behind me, and I'm like, ow! And he plucked... Out of, just came up and plucked a mole hair off my back. Oh, he cares about you. Well, I guess, but it hurt. I, uh, I've plucked (laughs) Jimmy, Jimmy's, uh, uni brow. He does the morning show on Cruise FM Mm -hmm. because he needed help. He doesn't know. Well, he's a little person too, so you had a good angle to really get that eyebrow. And he looked so good after. Janice wrote in saying, tell him you two are having a spa day and he's getting the treatment. Do him right up and reward him as well. Yeah, that's That cool. is probably the best answer I've ever seen. Yeah, I like that. You also think just like placing whatever products 
a guy should start using more in front of their eyes is a good way to get this done. Yeah. So like, give me an example. I've got, you know, rough skin. Okay, so you just find a moisturizer that's... That says it doesn't like, even matter. Like, it doesn't even matter if it's a pink bottle, a gender neutral bottle. Who cares? Right. Just place it there. Eventually, somebody's going to no. open it and get in there. I don't touch any. No, I've never touched a lady's product like that. No. Because I don't I don't know how expensive that is. <laughs> Some of those small bottles are like yeah. you find out they're 80 bucks later and you're like, oh, whoops. So what if you were to just like casually mention like, uh, I bought some new tweezers. They're in the bathroom. Maybe I, maybe he'll take care of the yeah, uni brow himself. Like, well, that's what I'm saying. Put it in front of his face like you suggested a while ago. I think that's a really smart idea. But I do think you need to do ones that say dude cream Kay. for rough skin. Keep on in mind, it. these two have only been dating for two months. Like she's not like she's like, all right, your designated area of stuff. I added a little bottle of moisturizer. That's true. Nobody's doing that so after two months. After two months, it's too soon to get rolling with that. I would feel comfortable with like, here, let me trim your eyebrows. You got a weird one. And then you get in there and trim all 46 weird ones. Brittany wrote in saying men don't take hints ever. Just be blunt. And Janice said, buy the men's products. They're the exact same ingredients, but they're cheaper because men won't spend that kind of money. Always use men products. Uh-huh, there that you is go. fascinating to me. What do you think? Oh, I'd be straight up. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Shave that. I don't want it stuck in my teeth. Yeah, you don't want it stuck in your teeth. <laughs> Are you chewing on his eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> that is our number. We're live, local, and reachable. Hit us up about whatever. If you have traffic updates like one of our regulars does right now, that always works as well. What's going on? There's a, a traffic bot plug, 149th westbound uh, at, on the Yellowhead. Now, you're an yeah. actual tow truck driver, if I'm not mistaken. I, I drive a 15-ton tow truck, yeah. So is uh, a butt plug on the road actual, like, scientific terminology in your field? <laughs> it, it is It is an industry slang, you could say. Yeah, okay, it, industry uh, slang. Yeah, b- because it hinders the flow of <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. My pleasure. That's interesting because I'm sure in almost every industry there's there's slang terms. Yeah, that others wouldn't know if you weren't in the industry. Like, if I say that I've got spots coming up, people are like, you what? Are you okay? That just <laughs> means commercials yeah, in radio. Yeah, it's a spot. Or there's one that's called hitting the post as well. Yeah. And I'm just going to, if you're comfortable, Lisa, the song that's coming up next, I'm just going to play the start of it, and I want you to try to hit the post. Oh, my okay? gosh. What? Yeah. Here. Okay. Ready? Your next chance to win $200 with Ryder and Lisa's $20,000 Play That Tune is coming up just after 8 o'clock. Be listening. Whoa! Who is she? Compared to the last time we tried that. Oh, my God. I I (laughs) ran. What's the other slang where when when you run over the post or? Yeah, I think stomp the post. Stomp the post. That's not a good thing. Not a good thing. So I've gotten a bunch of our listeners to text in slang terms from their professions. I'm going to read them to you, and I want you to try to guess what they mean, and then I'll give you the answer. Sure. So Charlene from the medical field said that a term that they often use is vampires. What do you think that might mean in the medical field? Medical field. Yeah. They're bleeding, obviously. No. Gum bleeding. They're biters. Okay, no. They'll bite you. (laughs) The answer is patients that suck the life out of you with all of their problems on the phone. Oh, wow. Yeah. So That's awesome. Put them on hold. We got a vampire. We got a vampire over here. That's hilarious. Okay. Jenica is a paramedic, and a term that they use is green tagger. A green tagger. They found someone on a field, like a sports field injury. (laughs) Paramedic. (laughs) No, a green tagger is someone who is... uh, Got some loose wires that is going to be hard to deal with. And it's because they green. used to get labeled with colors back in the day. They don't do that anymore. But green was apparently like, just a heads up, this person isn't entirely there. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Jim. Getting jacked up is a military term for what? Getting ready for to fight. <laughs> no. Doing some push-ups. You're getting jacked up means you're getting in trouble. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, that one's a bit too field. confusing. Sean, a computer tech, 
texted in and said, shave the yak <laughs> is a term that they often use. Uh, delete all the files. No, it's apparently means the stuff that like you don't want to do before you can do the things you want to do. So like cleaning oh. your workspace between projects or installing a bunch of software. I like to call that eating my frogs. Right. You get like, the stuff done you, that you done. don't want to do. Because who would want to eat a frog? You do it first thing in the morning. You're done. Exactly. And the last one I have is from Kate. This one is uh, is ridiculous. She's a funeral director. And she said... Shake and bake is a term, a term that they use in the funeral services industry. Okay, I'm going to assume that shake and bake is like putting on their makeup, making them look good, putting on their uh, funeral outfits. No, shake and bake is a direct cremation. Oh. So like you don't have to do embalming. There's no service. You it just goes in. You just shake. You just shake and bake. That is. <laughs> this is why these terms stay in their industry. Right. Because anyone outside of it is like judging. They're like, oh, that's rude. But you need or a name to weird. call it. <laughs> I guess. Time for a brand new episode of Unsung Heroes. This is where we give shout outs to people, places, and things that don't always get the attention, admiration, recognition. That they deserve. Shout out to Facebook being awesome for just this one week, though, because parents are posting their kids' first day of school photos. Outside of this week, it's an industrial dumpster fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love this week, though. Love those photos. Super, yeah. super cute. Oh, they're just so excited. Oh. Eh? And then like a week later, they're like, I'm over it. Is it summer yet? Uh, so I saw one. You know how majority of the kids, they hold up that little sign with what grade they're going yeah. into, their name, their age, and what they want to be when they grow up? I saw one that just said, I don't know. And I was like, I feel that. <laughs> Still don't Super know. relatable. <laughs> how are you supposed to know in elementary? Shout out to parents. Judging kids for being picky eaters and pretending that we're not. When really we handpicked and bought all the food that we have in the house. True. Specifically to what we wanted to eat. Shout out to loading your groceries in the trunk, but grabbing that one item to open and eat for your commute home. I'm looking at you, spicy dill Miss Vicky's. <laughs> Just crush the whole bag. Shout out to my favorite pumpkin spice product, the pumpkin spiced rum and coke. Hold the pumpkin. Good one. Thanks. <laughs> Shout out to people who are buying 2022 planners. That's ambitious and probably a waste of paper. <laughs> it's not happening. 2022 is not happening. I don't know. Shout out to not wearing underwear to confuse the bullies who try to give you a wedgie. Wait a minute. What are you going to do Where now? <laughs> Shout out to anyone who couldn't wait to get back to the office to quote unquote feel normal again. Yeah, that'll last about four seconds before a colleague starts asking you, hey, what are you eating over there? What do you got? What are you heating up? What's in the microwave? Oh, did you make that? What's in it? <laughs> Play 107. Time is flying by. Yeah, this tweet went viral yesterday. It says, did it hurt? When you realize 2022 is just 121 days away and you're still processing 2019, which is about to be three years ago. <laughs> Insane, hey? <gasps> oh, my gosh. There, there are times when things like this happen that like you're just awoken to the idea of how your parents and grandparents were right when they said things like yeah, time flies. Well, when you were a kid and summer vacation rolled around, it felt like forever. Mm -hmm. Like the summer was so long. And I think like that can be broken down scientifically to, to what you have to compare it to. So like my daughter is 10. So a year is one tenth of her life. All she knows for time is what she's spent living. So, one tenth of a life is, you know, mm -hmm. longer than for us. Yeah, compared We're, to us. A year for me is one thirty ninth of my what I've spent so far, mm -hmm. right? And mine's one twenty eighth. No, it's not. Yeah. Well, you forget about a few years <laughs> there. Forget about six years. I'm thirty one. Thank you very much. But yeah, you're reminded sometimes about how how quickly it goes so yeah, just scary. a friendly reminder to uh enjoy the little moments and embrace it i i saw a guy that i hadn't seen since halloween 11 years ago or whatever right. and 10 years ago and uh this past weekend and we like start talking and he's like 
your daughter, you you were expect you were expecting. Did you have a son or a daughter? I was like, that's the ten year old in the pool right now. No. And he was mind blown that like she's already swearing yeah. at me. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? And when he met me, my ex wife was pregnant with her. That's so crazy. So but like, yeah, you run into someone like that and it's like you it's like time hasn't even passed since you saw them last. Exactly. You know, you just pick up right where you left off, but so much has actually changed. 780-784-7107. Hit us up with, like, what moment made you go, oh, wow, this is ticking by pretty quick here. Uh, it, it always is, and I've brought this up on the show before, but mind-blowing to me when the NHL draft is happening mm-hmm. and what year the players from the draft are born. Yeah, because what are they at now? 99? No. 96? No. 2000 and... No, don't do this to me. Oh, yeah, for sure. How old? Like, oh, I two... guess if they're... How old are they when they start getting into it? 17? 17. Oh, my gosh. So, like, 2004 <gasps> was the draft class this year? Stop. I was already, like, <laughs> done dropping out of college. I was going to say done college. <laughs> <laughs> I was done not finishing <laughs> Lisa. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Play 107.